divided train working. Loco pilot, when his engine is unable to haul the train, shall stop on a level gradient and sounds four short whistles. The train shall be protected as per GR 6.03. Loco pilot and guard shall consult each other and decide to clear the block section either by asking for a relief engine or pushing back to the same station or divide train working. Relief engine may be asked whenever the train engine is unable to rectify within 5 minutes. Once asked, the loco pilot shall not move his train unless he has permission from the station master. Pushing back will be done as per SR 4.12 after obtaining permission from the rear station master. Loco pilot and guard consult each other and decide the number of vehicles to be cleared in the first portion. The rear portion shall be secured as per the gradient. That is, apply handbrakes of brake van and 18 wagons in case of gradient is not steeper than 1 in 600. Apply handbrakes of brake van and all the wagons in case the gradient is steeper than 1 in 600. Guard shall prepare an authority in T.609 form and give it to loco pilot for clearing the first portion to the next station. Guard shall mention the number of vehicles painted number of the last vehicle and the kilometer of the second portion in T.609 form. Guard shall collect tangible authority from the loco pilot if any. Loco pilot shall stop his first portion of the train at the foot of the first stop signal even in off position and sound whistle code long shot long shot continuously station master on hearing the whistle code shall intimate the rear station master section controller and exhibit signal to the loco pilot to enter the station on arrival at the station loco pilot shall hand over the t.609 form to the station master. Station master shall ensure the complete arrival of the first portion. Station master shall endorse on T.609 form and hand over it to the loco pilot of the light engine to bring the second portion from the block section. Loco pilot returning to pick off the second portion on T.609 shall proceed with a restricted speed not exceeding 25 kilometers per hour. After the dispatch of the first portion, the protection shall be done as follows. During daytime, guard shall stand 45 meters from the second portion in front. During night time, guard shall protect the train in front and stand 45 meters from the last detonator exhibiting stop hand signal and ALP shall stay back to protect the train in rear. During daytime, the loco pilot shall stop his engine on seeing the stop hand signal of the guard at 45 meters from the second portion. 
God shall then arrange to couple the engine with train, release the handbrakes, conduct continuity test and proceed to the next station. During night time, the loco pilot shall stop his engine on noticing the hand danger signal exhibited by the guard at 45 meters from last detonator. Guard shall pick up the three detonators and pilot the engine showing PHS up to the second portion, bursting the intermediate detonator at 600 meters. The engine shall be coupled with second portion, release the handbrakes. Loco pilot shall give long whistle for the ALP to come. ALP coming shall leave the three detonators at 1200 meters and pick up the intermediate detonator at 600 meters while returning. On arrival at next station, station master and guard shall ensure the arrival of the complete train. In case the train is worked without guard, duties of guard shall be performed by the ALP. The second portion shall be secured as per the gradient before detaching. Loco pilot shall prepare a written memo mentioning the number of vehicles, last vehicle number and the kilometer of the second portion. ALP shall stay back to protect the train in rear. On arrival of the first portion at next station, loco pilot hand over the written memo to station master and Station master shall ensure the complete arrival of first portion. Station master shall dispatch the light engine to bring the second portion on authority TA.602. Loco pilot shall proceed with a restricted speed of 15 km per hour when view ahead is clear and 10 km per hour when view ahead is not clear. After attaching the engine, handbrakes shall be released and cleared to the next station. Whenever passenger train engine is not able to haul the load, relief engine shall be asked.